I like that one. That had some drama to it and excitement. And the whole uh, minute of pain for Lifetime of Glory, that's, see, I was doing it the other way. I would take a lifetime of pain just for one minute of glory. That's, I've got it all wrong. All right. Another hand for Peter Vanderkay. Man, amazing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's check in again with Summer uh, Sanders. Summer, what is going on down there now, wherever sure, you are? I'm sharing a seat oh. with Janet Evans. Oh, Wouldn't nice. you want to be me right now? You've got your fan club back there. Things are really picking up now. Right? It's heating up. If, if you have, have you read Unbroken yet? The um, Laura Hillenbrand. I book? just read it back there. Yeah, yes, it was a good very book. Quick. I'm telling you, if you have not read it, you really do have to go pick it up. I was, you know, tears were streaming down my face. A true hero that was just on the stage. But also a true hero is Janet Evans, not just in the eyes of the Olympics, but also in the eyes of her kids, your mom of two, who just told me, I, said, I sat down next to her and said, how are the kids doing? And you said... My husband has been texting me because my five-year-old flushed her dinner down the toilet and he doesn't know what to do. So I told him to figure it out that I was here at Golden Goggles and that he needed to work on it on his own. Every, everybody knows that you're making a comeback and, we, and we're not supposed to talk about the swimming now. So let's talk about the swimming past. Yes. Um, you, I mean, you are the greatest distance swimmer of all time. I'll say it, I think everyone would agree with me in this room, right? Um, what does that mean to you right now? Does it mean more to you now than it did in 1988 as a little pipsqueak that you were? Yeah, I mean, and you, you understand and with age comes wisdom. And I think when you're swimming at this level and you're training so hard and you're going to all these competitions, you don't appreciate it because it comes so easy because this is what we do and, and we're good at it. Um, I mean, we work hard and we swim fast, but we don't really appreciate it, I don't think, as well as you do when you actually don't swim and you're doing other things and you say, oh my gosh, I really was very good at what I did. So I think obviously age comes wisdom. So yeah, I really, um, it still doesn't, you know, and thank you for the compliment. So I don't really think of myself that way. I think of myself as a mom that's trying to get my kid to eat her dinner. But I mean, you know, it's, um, it's uh, it, it, you understand it more as I think as you get older. Kids do humble you. But um, take me back to that time. And if you had the opportunity uh, to take a stage and win an award like this at the Golden Goggles, who would you thank? Um, well, I'd first of all thank my parents, um, because also I have realized with age how hard it is to be a parent and how much work it is and how appreciative I am to what my parents did for me. I'd thank my coaches uh, for making me swim every day and getting me in the water. And I thank my teammates, just like everyone else has done here. I think, you know, I listened to all the speeches and the athletes have given, you know, credit where credit is due. And I love listening to them. And, um, you know, it reminds us, me of our teams when we were swimming together and um, still great people and great young people and great futures and um, I'm just so proud of them so it's awesome. I love your outlook and we did have a chance to hang out at the pool we're not supposed to talk about her swimming right now but I will just say to everyone that I did witness some pretty incredible stuff going on with this 40 year old right 40, just 40, Don't just 40 like year old 40, woman sitting right here awesome stuff and and um, Kevin I think she might take you in the water I think there's a chance she'd beat you what I do you think? I'll try that. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Thanks, Janet. Janet Evans, everybody. I'm still thinking about the dinner down the toilet, you know. But at least she was honest with you. You know, if you want the truth, ask a child and then punish them. Punish them because that's not how you get ahead in this world, by being truthful. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. That's my little uh, contribution for tonight.